This is a video tutorial for Midas NFX. Today I will show you how to do an impact analysis inside the analysis mode of Midas NFX. First thing, I will open a model. So the model is called Impact Model. If you don't have this model, you can request it uh, directly on our website www.midasnfx.com or you can also create it directly into the software using the geometrical interface and the meshing. Now, what I want to show you today is how to assign the boundary, the boundary conditions to make an explicit uh, drop impact on this cube. So, first thing I will do is to assign the constraint. So, I have a plate here and a cube. So let's go in static and heat analysis and select constraint. Now you have to select these uh, five nodes here and fix them. Okay. Next step is to assign a, a manual contact between the cube and the plate. So click on manual and uh, select here general in the contact type. Now for the master element, select all the elements of the cube. And for the slave element, select 2D element in the object type and select the plate element. Then just click on OK. You can check that the contact have been assigned. If you go in the walkthrough and click on manual, you will be able to see uh, the contact. Now I will assign a dynamic uh, load. So I will use this load, initial velocity. So click on initial velocity. Select uh, your cube and um, enter the value minus 2000 inside the TZ direction. So uh, I will assign an initial velocity of 20 meter per second to uh, all the nodes of the cube. Clean up, click on OK. Now you just have to create the analysis case. So go in analysis and result and click on general. Select the analysis type nonlinear explicit transients and enter impact. Now, here, click on non explicit transient and subcase control. In this window, you can set the time direction, duration so of your analysis, 0 0.2, and the time interval. So as it is nonlinear explicit analysis, you have to put a very small time interval. Okay? And an important thing here, you have to drag and drop the dynamic load to initial velocity in order to assign the initial velocity to your model. Now you have done that, just click on OK and perform. So you see it's going very fast. And now in 40, 14 seconds, I have my results. So before uh, seeing the results, you have here to select a real for the deformation or uh, the results you will see will not be uh, correct. So now if you drag and drop, you will see each another step and you will view um, the cube which is falling. So, over the plate. So, if you want, you can view the animation. And it's possible to save the animation by clicking on this icon in .av format. Now, if you want to know 
uh, the stress inside the cube when it touches the plate. It's uh, you have to first uh, click on this view front and uh, determine click on solid stress here. Now determine the step when the cube touches the plate. So it is the step for this time step, the increment uh, 10,332. And now you, you can view the, the stress, for me the stress inside the cube when it touches the plate. You can view also the shell stress for the same increment. So it's the increment 10, this one. So this is the shell stress for the plate. This is the stress inside the cube. And you can view also the total displacement, the velocity for the plate, and the total acceleration for the plate at this moment. If you want to add some results, right-click on increment, and you can add some uh, any type of result you need, like any type of solid stress and uh, shell elements. You have a lot of choice. Okay, this was a training video for Midas NFX. Thank you very much for watching.